So this is the question 22. Question 22, I change it into graph theory notation. So we consider a simple graph G on n vertices such that each vertex has a degree of 20. If x, y are adjacent, then the common neighbor of x, y is equal to 1. If x, y is not adjacent, then the common neighbor of x, y is equal to 6. We are asked to find the value of n. This is a simple version of a shortlisted problem in IMO 1995. Let x be a vertex in G. Given that the degree of x is 20, so there are 20 vertices here. And call this is y1, y2, until y20. For these two vertices, they have one common neighbor. It means that there will be some edges here. So, in other words, you will look like this. By the assumption, the graph G has n vertices. We already used up one vertex here, 20 vertices here. Then there are another n minus 21 vertices outside. And because each of the vertex is of degree 20, so Example for y1 is adjacent to x and adjacent to y2. It's not adjacent to other y here. So there will be a total of 18 vertex here. So there will be a total of 18 edges come from y1 to this subset. And the same thing happened to this y2. So there will be another 18. So similarly, for y20, some of the vertices may be the same, but it doesn't matter. So we just need to consider the total edges in between. Call this set as A and the other set as B, in between A and B. The total edges in between A and B, if we count the edges from A to B, each of them have 18 edges. So it will be 20 times 18. On the other hand, for any vertex in B, it is not adjacent with X. So by this condition, if they are not adjacent, then they have exactly six common neighbor. So for each of a vertex, say Z, it will join six vertices here. So there will be exactly six edges come from the vertex Z in B to the set A and they are n minus 1 vertices in set B. So the number of edges will be equal to 6 times n minus 21. So we are counting the edges in between A and B using two different methods, and the result has to be the same. So it means that n will be equal to 60 plus 21. That is equal to 81. So 81 is the answer for question 22.